testosterone, a steroid hormone primarily produced in the testicles and ovaries, with additional small amounts from the adrenal glands, serves as a critical driver of physical changes during puberty for those assigned male at birth. It fuels muscle development, voice modulation, and hair growth, while also playing a significant role in female health and sexual well-being. Maintaining optimal testosterone levels is essential for overall health. Its impact on body composition is profound, affecting muscle mass, strength, and even weight gain as people age. Furthermore, testosterone influences sexual function, impacting sex drive, erections, and fertility. Remember, small changes can lead to big results. Let's get started on this incredible journey to naturally boost your testosterone levels. But before we jump in, Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss out on our science-backed health and wellness content. Number 1. Decrease Stress This is an underrated and incredibly important contributor to low testosterone. Stress has a powerful effect on the body and releases cortisol, which is a hormone that works against testosterone. We all have stress in our lives, but it is important to manage it. Some helpful methods include meditation, Practicing mindfulness so you recognize when you are stressed, take walks in nature, try to limit distressing thoughts and poor internal dialogue, and or make a list of your stressors and find ways to decrease them. Make sure you obtain adequate sleep, more about that below, as poor sleep increases stress. It is easy to dismiss stress as a part of life, but by finding ways to decrease it, your overall health and testosterone will improve. Number 2. Sleep Another incredibly powerful influence on testosterone is sleep. Most of testosterone in a man is produced during deep sleep, so both amount and quality of sleep are critical. Make sure you go to bed at the same time every night. Most people require seven, eight hours of sleep. Many people learn to survive on less sleep, but the key word here is survive, not thrive. Try to eliminate blue light activities like computers and TVs within at least 30 minutes prior to bed. Do not have electronics in your bedroom. Use the bedroom strictly for sleeping, not for watching TV or reading. Some people find a hot shower before bed helps sleep. Others find meditation useful to clear their mind. If you snore, you should be tested for sleep apnea. You should consult with your urologist if you are waking up at night to urinate. Your life will improve dramatically with proper sleep quantity and quality. A special mention about night shift workers you are at significantly higher risk of low testosterone, among other health issues. It would be healthier to try to avoid night shift work. But if that is not possible, then consistent sleep still is critical. Number 3. Decrease body fat. Excess body fat converts testosterone to estrogen. Therefore, maintaining a healthy body weight is critical. However, fad or crash diets will decrease testosterone significantly, so do not starve yourself. The body decreases testosterone production substantially in states of relative starvation. Therefore, slow and steady weight loss over many months to a year with good nutrition and mild to moderate exercise is best. You may want to consult a nutritionist. Number 4. Diet. Diet is another major contributor to testosterone production. Diet recommendations could be an entire book, so below is a brief overview only. Certain foods provide the basic ingredients for the body to make testosterone, such as salmon has omega-3 fats and eggs have cholesterol. Other examples are foods with zinc and magnesium. In addition, certain foods are needed to remove estrogens from the body, such as broccoli, cauliflower, and cabbage. A nutritionist can help with making a diet plan, but in general, counting macronutrients, which are carbohydrates, fats, and proteins, is important. Aim for about 33% of each. There are online calculators for how many calories you need to consume in a day and apps to keep count of macros. Importantly, people have been advised for some time to avoid fats, but not all fats are the same. Unsaturated fats like those in avocados and nuts are critical to provide the body what it needs to make testosterone and perform other crucial functions. Also, eggs provide cholesterol, another important molecule for the body. Please note your cholesterol levels will need to be checked prior to starting any diet changes. Some patients should not increase their fat consumption. These include those whose cholesterol levels are high, are on medications for high cholesterol already, or have certain health conditions like vascular disease. However, for many people, healthy fats are excellent food choices for many reasons. 
avoid saturated fats and processed trans fats. Look at the food labels to find this information. Other good tips are to stay hydrated with at least two liters of water, unless you have health problems such as congestive heart failure or kidney disease. Being well hydrated will keep your energy levels up and decrease hunger for poor food choices, like simple carbohydrates found in candy. In addition, antioxidants like blueberries, raspberries, and blackberries can prevent stress on your body. Other great sources of antioxidants are coffee and black green tea. Lastly, to repeat from earlier, do not starve yourself. Adequate calories are critical, or your body will turn off the making of testosterone. Number 5. Supplements. In terms of nutrition, a proper diet is all most people need to make adequate testosterone. There are health issues that cause exceptions to this, including patients with malabsorption issues. Vitamin D levels should be checked by your doctor, and if low, should be supplemented. Of note, 10 minutes of midday sunlight from late spring to early fall a couple times a week will make adequate amounts of vitamin D from the skin. Those with personal history or family history of skin cancer will not tolerate sun exposure and should consult their dermatologist. In general, a few minutes of sunlight can be beneficial, but your skin should never burn. You should take about 2,000 units of vitamin D in the winter if your labs show low vitamin D levels. Those deficient in magnesium and zinc may benefit from increasing dietary intake of foods with these or of a short course of supplementation. Foods with zinc include meats, nuts, spinach, and eggs, among many others. Foods with magnesium include green leafy vegetables, nuts, seeds, and certain seafoods. Fish oil may be found in foods like salmon, tuna, seeds, and nuts. A multivitamin or half a multivitamin is also reasonable, but may not be necessary depending on the quality of your diet. Of course, dietary restrictions, past medical history, and allergies may limit which foods you can eat. Number 6. Exercise. Exercise has been found to raise testosterone. This is another topic that has enough information for an entire book. General principles are if you are new to lifting, start very slowly or you risk injury. Also, please consult your doctor about your general health and ability to work out. Those with significant medical conditions, including heart or back problems, may not be able to exercise or may be limited. These patients must have clearance before engaging in physical activity. For those who are healthy and have a baseline level of fitness already, General recommendations are to engage in compound movements and to work out in shorter burst movements with high intensity. Lifting heavy weights with a high volume will increase testosterone the most. Exercises include compound movements like squats, deadlifts, bench press, push press, and shoulder press. Also, high-intensity interval training, IIT, is excellent for testosterone. Hyatt involves short bursts of activity like squats with body weight or burpees, followed by a short rest. Be careful about endurance training like long-distance running and biking. While good for your heart, overdoing these exercises may lower testosterone due to the chronic stress on the body. So sprints are actually better than long-distance running. We advise consulting a personal trainer and starting off very slowly. It is easy to injure yourself with the best exercises for increasing testosterone. Proper form and a basic fitness level is critical to not being injured, so please be extremely careful. For those with medical conditions limiting exercise, any exercise is helpful, and this includes walking or even water aerobics for those with joint issues. Number 7. Avoid overtraining. This is an overlooked and very critical point. Make sure you are taking rest days every week. Do not exercise every day of the week and rotate cardio exercises, such as HIIT, and weightlifting. Overtraining will decrease testosterone substantially and also lead to injury. If you are new to exercise, work out only two and no more than three days a week at first. And even if you are already fit, take at least two days off strenuous exercise every week. The off days can involve activities like stretching or hiking, but nothing taxing. Overtraining leads to chronic inflammation, injury, and causes testosterone to plummet. Number 8. Avoid drugs and alcohol abuse. Abuse of drugs and alcohol has been linked to lower testosterone. According to the National Institute of Alcohol Abuse and Alcoholism Trusted Source, alcohol use affects the glands and hormones involved in male reproductive health. Further, alcohol can cause low testosterone levels due to the effects it has on the body, including causing hormonal reactions and cell damage. Number 9. 
Eat protein, fat, and carbs. Eating enough protein can help you maintain healthy testosterone levels and can aid in fat loss, which may be beneficial too. Additionally, constant dieting or overeating may disrupt your testosterone levels. Consuming healthy fats may also help support testosterone levels and hormone balance. Some research shows that a low-fat diet could decrease testosterone levels. Therefore, a nutritious, well-rounded diet based mainly on whole foods is best. A healthy balance of protein, fat, and carbs can help optimize your hormone levels and support your overall health. Number 10. Increase vitamin D intake. Vitamin D is a micronutrient that plays a key role in many aspects of health. Despite its importance, up to 1 billion people worldwide are deficient. Some research shows that low vitamin D levels may be linked to lower testosterone levels. Additionally, a 2017 study involving 102 men with a vitamin D deficiency found that taking a vitamin D supplement increased testosterone levels and improved erectile dysfunction. However, more research is needed, as other studies yield conflicting results. To maintain healthy levels of vitamin D, try to get regular exposure to sunlight or consider taking a vitamin D3 supplement as directed by a healthcare professional. Remember, optimizing your testosterone levels requires a holistic approach. Decrease stress through mindfulness and walks in nature. Prioritize quality sleep and establish a consistent bedtime routine. Maintain a healthy body weight to prevent excess fat conversion to estrogen. Craft a balanced diet rich in omega-3 fats, zinc, magnesium, and antioxidants while avoiding crash diets. Supplements like vitamin D, zinc, and magnesium can be beneficial, but consult a professional. Incorporate regular exercise, focusing on compound movements and high-intensity interval training, GIT, for the best testosterone boost. Avoid overtraining by scheduling rest days and steer clear of drug and alcohol abuse as they can lower testosterone levels. Aim for a well-rounded diet with sufficient protein, healthy fats, and carbs, and consider increasing your vitamin D intake through sunlight or supplements. Remember, individual needs vary, so consult healthcare professionals before making significant changes.